Well, covering Colorado now in Denver. Nearly a month ago, the Denver Police Boxing Brotherhood was sucker punched when a thief cut the locks and stole their trailer. Inside was everything they need to put on boxing shows for young athletes. They typically put on those shows free of charge for organizations around our state. It's an effort to keep kids in the gym and off the streets. Well, now they have to raise at least $20,000 to replace what was taken. CBS 4's Michael Labeda shows us how the community stepped up for them today. The youth boxing organizations held that fundraiser at the Aurora Mall Saturday and they had a lot of support from the community. Becoming a boxer is more than just learning how to throw a punch. You have to know how to train, prepare, and when you get knocked down, get back up. The boxing community in Colorado has been dealt two heavy blows so far this year. Boxing coach and gym owner Joaquin Romero was recently killed. And in January, the DPD Boxing Brotherhood's trailer was stolen along with it their bell, ring, and the ability for many boxing clubs to put on shows with that gear. The boxing ring was for the community, for the, all the amateur boxing program that's in the state of Colorado. All it takes was a telephone call if they needed a boxing ring, and they would have it. But boxers get back up and fight back. That's why youth boxing clubs from all over the state held this fundraising show at a boxing gym in the Aurora Mall Saturday. They're hoping they can raise the money they need to buy a new ring so the rest of their shows this year won't be canceled. One in Pueblo is already on the ropes. We have a ring bill, but we have to have the money to pay for it. But no matter what, these kids and parents are going to keep fighting and rooting for the brotherhood because no matter who had the better fight Saturday, by split decision, when they get their new ring, they'll all win. Out of the blue corner from Yosemite East Diego. $25,000 is the ultimate goal, but they say they need $11,000 to pay for a ring that they've already ordered. They've raised $4,000 on a GoFundMe site. They're hoping to close that gap a little bit with the funds they raised on Saturday. In Aurora, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.